All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over the Facebook Ads Video Creation Kit. So it's a really simple way to create video ads directly through Facebook, and I'm gonna go through some of the best practices for using it and how to create video ads, how to use them in your campaigns, and even how to download video ads and publish them directly to your page. So we're gonna open our ad account here. I'm gonna be doing this through the Surfside PPC ad account, but I'm gonna be doing it for the Beachfront Decor page. So I'm gonna click here to open my ad account. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating a campaign and we'll just use the standard campaign that we usually do. So we're gonna create a conversions campaign. So under conversion, our objective will just be conversions here. So that's generally what I use when I'm creating campaigns. And I'll just do, so video creation kit example, you can do campaign budget optimization if you want. I would check out our Facebook ads tutorial if you're looking for a little bit more information about running Facebook ads in general, but I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly just to get to the ad portion. So we're gonna just cl click on continue for now. So we're just gonna create one ad set, but you can create multiple ad sets. Again, I would just check out some of our other tutorials if you're looking for a little bit more about campaigns. Now, one thing you can do is use dynamic creative. So you can upload multiple videos, you can upload multiple headlines, text, newsfeed description, so all of that. So we're gonna turn that on. So that's generally what I'll do when I'm creating ads now in Facebook. And then we're just gonna scroll to the bottom and we're gonna click on continue. So you would obviously wanna set targeting here. You might wanna edit your placements. Maybe you just wanna run on Instagram. I'll go over a little bit more about Instagram video ads in the future. So our optimization for ad delivery will be conversions. You can set a budget just like that. You can have a conversion window. You can change any of this if you want. We're gonna click on continue because I really just wanna focus on the video creation kit. So add name, we'll just keep this as default name, conversions. Facebook page will be Beachfront Decor and then Instagram account will also choose Beachfront Decor from the list here. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see format. It's gonna say dynamic creative is enabled. Multiple ads will automatically be generated using your individual creative assets. So what we're gonna do here is under media. So this is the main part of the video. We wanna click on video slideshow. And then what you can do is either create a slideshow, browse your library if you have existing videos you've already uploaded, upload a brand new video, or what we're gonna do is use templates. So I'm gonna click on use templates here. Okay, so now we're in the video creation kit. You're gonna see there's an example video over here to the right hand side. So here are all the templates you can choose from. Promote a product, two to five images, six seconds. So it's just focusing on one product. Drive product discovery, so one to six image, 15 seconds. And you can see there's a lot of different options here. So multiple products, show, bro show product benefits, showcase a square image, showcase a horizontal image, spotlight an image, feature an image highlight an image, display a product, present a horizontal image, feature your brand, and frame an image. So this is the other option here. So these are all different templates you can choose from, and all of them have a little bit different goals, but really what you wanna do is test and make sure you're using the one that works the best for your business. So if you're just trying to highlight one product, show some of the benefits, you probably wanna use something like this where you have five to 10 images, 15 seconds, you can show some of the different benefits, and people can quickly and easily see the benefits they would gain from buying one of your products. Now, under available templates, there's square and there's vertical, you don't really need to worry about that too much because you can take your square template and it will make it into a vertical video as well. You can also do the same with vertical and back into square video. So I generally just choose square here. And then in addition, any that you've already created will show up here and save drafts. So you can save any of the ones that you've created as drafts. So you can see I have a couple drafts here as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to Square here and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be focusing on promoting this page right here. So 100 nautical quilts and beach quilts. So people can quickly and easily find a bunch of quilts for sale for their beach home. So I'm gonna come back over to Ads Manager and I'm gonna be creating a video here with the video creation kit. So what I'm gonna do is drive product discovery. It's gonna say inspire people to explore and shop by showing what makes your products unique. So I'm just gonna click on this one and we're gonna scroll down and you can see an example real quick. So you can see there's a logo in the middle. You can describe your product, multiple images here. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. We're gonna click on customize. So the way these generally work is they're broken up into scenes. So this one has six total scenes and then you can also see effects here. So under effects, what you can do is add a sticker. So if I click choose sticker, I can do something like free shipping, Cyber Monday sale. You can see there's a lot of options for promotions, discount, they have back to school, and then you can find some different options down here. So Easter, they have some different ones. So you can add some stickers. Maybe I wanna do promotions and I'll just do free shipping. And then it's gonna add that sticker directly to my advertisement. 
So what I can do is come back over to scene one and we're, it's going to say scene one and six. So it's going to say select your background image for scene one and six. You can add text later when customizing that scene. And then they have scene two, scene three, scene four, scene five, and then a logo here as well. So I'm going to start with my logo. So I'm going to take the logo and what I'm going to do is you can use images you've already uploaded here. You can upload new images. So I have my logo uploaded right here, beachfront decor. Just click on continue. So I have my logo here. It'll show up right in the center here. I could make it a little bit bigger, but it's a pretty decent size. It just shrinks when they actually show it on this image here. So this is good for me right now. I have my logo uploaded. Now we're going to do our scenes. So I'm going to come back up to the top. And we're going to start with scene one and six. So I'm going to select this image again. I'm promoting this 100 plus nautical quilts and beach quilts. So I want to use images that would represent this page well. So come back over to ads manager. You can see I've already uploaded some images here. The recommended image size is at least 1080 by 1080. So even if you use an image like this, they can use the vertical portion. You can crop the image if you want. But the larger the image, the better it's going to perform here. You want to make sure you're using large square images. So 1080 by 1080. You can upload something like 1500 by 1126, like this one is here, and it will just crop that image. So really the key to creating a good video in the video creation kit is making sure you're using really good images. So this is a good one for beachfront decor because the images are really good for promoting these types of products, nautical quilts, beach quilts, any type of bedding sets, or beach decor in general. So I'll click on this one. We'll click on continue. So you're going to see it's going to start changing here. So you can see there's some different images that it's showing in the grid right here. So that's going to be scene one and six in the background. And we're going to continue here. You can also use color images. So if I click on select image, I can do scene two background. So what I'll do is I'll choose this quilt right here. Click on continue. Now what we can do is you can see resize automatically. I can do that. Otherwise I can choose crop image. So I can just choose a different crop if I want to. We'll just do that. Click on done just so you know you can do that. So we'll keep scrolling down. And one thing you can do is as you're building it is click on play and it's going to still show the other images it previously uploaded, but you can see just like this. So this is kind of how it's going to look. So we're going to upload some of our other scenes here. So click select image and we have another one right here. We'll click on continue. So now what I want to do is upload a few different images. So I'm going to select right here and I'm going to upload images. Okay, so now I have all my images uploaded. You can see scene one at the top here, scene two, scene three. I have scene four. What I did was uploaded something with free shipping here, scene five, scene six, and then we have our effects there as well. So what I can do is we'll play it real quick so we can see what it looks like. So it's saying 100 plus nautical and beach quilts. Click on play. And we're still want to update this text here. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so we can see kind of what this looks like. So July 15th, 31st, free shipping. We have our logo here at the bottom. And there we go. That's kind of how it's going to look. So what we can do is click on scene two here, and then you can see there's a text overlay. So right now it's saying describe your product. So what I can do is something like striped nautical quilts. You can change the position. So if I want to put that at the top, the bottom, I can change the text color. Maybe I want to change it to black click on confirm you'll see it cha it'll change at the bottom I'll just keep this as white for now so the text color will really depend on the images that you're using you can also change the font I like to use Roboto bold or one of these bold fonts because they're easier to see especially up against some of these backgrounds so I'll just use Roboto bold for now and now we'll click on scene three so you want to do the same thing here so describe your product now scene four something you can do is just get rid of this all together just make sure you don't do any text overlay click off and now you can see scene four. So I might want to update this image because my logo is actually cut off at the bottom. So this would be an image that I would want to up, update a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to keep it as is for now, but you could update that. Now what I'm going to do is click on scene three, describe your product. Again, you can turn this right off. Otherwise what I can do is do something like free shipping and we'll change the text here as well. Okay, so we have free shipping there, and then the next one, they'll see it's free shipping, July 15th to 31st, scene five. Maybe I don't want to do any text overlay for this scene, and then scene six. So any text overlay I want. So you can see 100 nautical and beach quilts. So I'll do the same thing. Okay, so I've updated a little bit, so now we're going to come back to scene one. You're going to see this is what scene one looks like. I was able to crop this image to make sure it shows up a little better now. So scene two, you can see 100 plus nautical and beach quilts. I changed the text a little bit. 
Over here, I have free shipping, and then the next one is gonna show free shipping as well. And then down here, we have upgrade your beach bedding, and then in scene six, shop now and save. So just to do a quick preview here, we'll click on play. So you can see it's gonna have a grid of all these images, show our logo, 100 plus nautical and beach quilts, free shipping. So again, we have free shipping here again, upgrade your beach bedding. And now we just have our logo, shop now and save. So pretty simple to create these videos. It takes all of five, 10 minutes to create one of them. The longer part is gonna be making sure you're picking the best images out. So now what we can do is scroll down to the bottom. I can click save draft just so I can save it. It'll say stickers will not be saved. That's fine, you can always add them later. So now we have this saved to our draft. So if we ever wanna update it, we can. But what I'm gonna do is just click on continue and it's gonna create this as a new video ad. And the other thing you're gonna see is when you do create a video ad, it will also create a vertical one as well. And it's gonna say this version will be added to your media library. And then it's gonna say 10 placements will use this version. So if we just click on play, you can make sure it shows up okay here. The one thing that might not show up as well is our free shipping one. So that might just be something you have to go back and edit, but you definitely wanna check it out to make sure it looks okay. So you can see it's a little bit cut off, but I think that's fine. Upgrade your beach bedding and we're all good to go. Now I can click on use video and it's gonna create that video ad here. So it's gonna say this will take between 30 seconds and two minutes. So I'm gonna fast forward to this part a little bit. Okay, so we got this uploaded now. Now one of the things you're gonna see is as you upload your videos, they're gonna be added to your asset library here in Facebook. So I've created a couple videos in the past. So you can see right here, I created this video. So if we click on it, we click on play. So another simple video, 100 plus nautical and beach quilts and shop now, pretty simple. So it's a shorter version of the other video. So if I click to get rid of it, there's another one over here. I can also save this one. So I've already saved one of these. What you can do is just right click right here and just do save video as, and just save the video directly to your computer or anywhere you want to. And we can click on X here. I'm gonna come back over to my ads manager. And what I can do is click on browse library. So it'll have it there if you have it already. Otherwise, what you can do is upload it if it's not showing up here yet. So I have a 1080 by 1080. So if I click on here, click on continue. Now you can see I have this video uploaded right here. So it's a 1080 by 920. We have another 1080 by 920, another 1080 by 1080. Now one of the issues you might see when you do create new videos. So if I just click on browse library real quick, I scroll over here, it's gonna say this video can't be used for Instagram, but you can still select it to run on Facebook. Sometimes you get these error messages, but they eventually end up going away as you're creating more videos. So this video should be fine to run on Instagram. If you have any issues, you could just make sure that you're running these 1080 by 1080 or 1080 by 920 videos, which is what the video creation kit is gonna create for you. Now what you can do is create more videos here. So if I come back over to use template, this is how you use the video creation kit. I can create shorter videos, longer videos. Maybe you wanna create one that you make sure it looks better on a vertical device. So there's all these different things that you can do as you're using the video creation kit. And all you really need to do is click on the template that you wanna use and then click on customize and then just go in, update the images just like I showed you, update any of the text that it has. So click on each individual scene to update the text, add any effects, which is basically just putting a stamp on your video. You can save it as a draft or click on continue, but I don't wanna you know, upload 10 different videos here. What you really need to do is just come into your Facebook ads manager, start using templates as you're creating video and slideshow. It's a really simple way to create really great advertisements on Facebook. And now the other thing you can do is use dynamic creative with these video ads. So what Facebook is gonna do is it's gonna serve this ad right here, it's gonna serve this ad right here, and it's gonna serve this ad right here. And I can upload more, I can create more using these templates. I'm gonna come down, and then what you can do is enter your text here, enter your website URL, enter your headline, enter your call to action, your display link, your newsfeed link description, and it will use dynamic creative to make sure that it's creating the best possible combinations of advertisements for the goals that you're trying to accomplish. So it's a really simple process. Now I'm not gonna go through all this different ad copy here, but what you would wanna do is enter all of this. We have a Facebook ads dynamic creative video on our channel. I will put our Facebook ads dynamic creative video, our Facebook ads tutorial, and our tutorial playlist directly in the description for this video so you can easily find it. 
Now, one thing you can do after you enter your website URL here is you can look at the, the different placements to see how your video will look. Desktop news feed, mobile news feed. You can look at Instagram placements if you scroll down. So we can click on Instagram, look at Instagram feed. So you can see how your advertisements will look after you use the video creation kit. Now, the last thing I want to show you is if you go to your asset library. So basically, you come up here to the menu, you come over to all tools, and then you go over to videos here under assets. It should save your assets after you publish a campaign. So what you can do is like I showed you earlier, you click on one of these videos, you, you right click, click on save video as, and then what you can actually do is just post it directly to your Facebook page. So I just published this 30 minutes ago, shop 100 nautical quilts and beach theme quilts at beachfront decor shop. Now I can put my URL here and I have the video I just created. It doesn't cost me anything. So if you publish your video campaign and then you pause it, you can still use these videos just like this i can upload them in other sources so it's a really great way to create video ads completely free just use the facebook video creation kit you don't have to use them for advertisements but they do work very well for advertisements as well so that's the facebook video creation kit if you have any specific questions please leave them in the comment section thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the surfside ppc youtube channel